welcome to a review of a LEGO knockoff slash bootleg set of Enlighten's 1502 minifigure series. This is series 2A. Uh, the first one was the Three Kingdoms set, and the second one was you know A and B was Three Kingdoms. So I'm going to expect that uh, 2B is also going to be a random selection of um, uh, eight different random characters. We have a footballer, a guy in a teddy bear costume, a Chinese vampire called the Zhang Shi, or in Cantonese, Gong Si, um, robot cyborg man, a SWAT police, a toy soldier, a uh, little girl, and a prisoner inside all of these boxes. Now, all of them use the same box, it's meant to be kind of like a blind thing, but as long as you just get the big crate with eight boxes in it, you will get a set. Um, now, all of them have the sort of minifigure base style sort of sheet going on. And there's actually a website underneath saying QMJM. I don't recommend you going on that, but you might be curious and check it out. That's not my fault. And yeah, the whole style is based on the Lego minifigures style, but they change it just enough to not do any copyright stuff. And in fact, Enlighten for the most part, while sets are often similar to official Lego sets, they always change them just enough so that they're not technically bootleg, but for the sake of argument, I'm going to call them you know, bootlegs for now, just because, well, let me look at it, it's still a minifigure series. And none of the characters here are based on official LEGO characters either, so it's cool that they're doing that. We're getting different characters that, um, I guess, suit more the, uh, suit more the markets in China and Hong Kong here. Here are all the figures lined up, and just like the Three Kingdoms pack that I reviewed previously, they all have a uh, same type of base, as well as a card back that um, holds uh, a little background up. Now, the Three Kingdoms one, these cards are more of an actual, well, card, whereas these ones are actually shorter than the Three Kingdoms one, and are used purely for background purposes only. It's white in the back, and um, it uh, actually has a uh, shiny plastic side, I guess, not laminated, but uh, definitely a plastic, thin plastic layer on one side only. Uh, this side's also kind of shiny, it's that kind of like packaging paper where your hand might feel a little bit sticky on it just because it's not, well, a little bit shiny as well, but um, just that not nice papery feel. I don't like it, like kind of sticky cardboard, but I don't like that. Um, but the front is just a shiny piece of plastic. And uh, they put the plastic here because um, the Free Kingdom cards, uh, they slot into you see these little pegs. It's pretty much folding the cardboard and uh, making sure it stays in there. Whereas, um, and the cards got damaged pretty easily, whereas these ones with the plastic stuff on the front, um, it helps stops the card from getting damaged too quickly. And you see that, it, um, for the most part, on display, the hidden bit is the bottom white bar area where it has the logo and uh, the name and the number. It says um, footballer, and it says footballer backing card. So all these cards will have a little white thing that says, you know, like teddy bear backing card, etc., etc. So these cards are nice. Uh, the base is big, which is nice too, I guess. And it has these four corners that can attach it to other bases. Uh, the Think Tank Queen ones want to attach pretty well, and these will too. Uh, if you just attach them to four corners for stacking purposes or just tidying them away, maybe some of you might think the space is a little bit too big, and um, I think so too. Uh, Would have been better if it had less. Pieces, but these are based on some really old uh, Lego minifigure pack bases. Uh, those uh, that were used in Star Wars, where you get um, you know three figures in the box, and then they'll come with bases, a little backing card with a bit of information on them. But uh, those are kind of rare these days, so I don't have any of those, and I don't intend on getting any of those because I have the figures. I just don't need a expensive box and card. Here we are, with just the backing cards, all the figures removed. Um, you can see all of them, uh, not sure where the art comes from, maybe they did them themselves, maybe they got it from uh, Google or whatever, but they're all consistent, they're the same art style, so I'm kind of convinced that they did them themselves. Um, they're all sort of like water painted style art, so that's pretty good. And uh, it's not just water painted art, it's just they do feel like they've, they've been drawn by the same person. I could be wrong, and if I am wrong, you know where these artwork come from. You can let me know in the comments below and I'll, you know, put a little credit where credit is due for these art pieces. They're nice, I like them. Let them look. First four figure figures here we have the footballer, the mascot teddy, a uh, little girl, and the toy soldier. Uh, focus, yeah, there we go. 
And uh, yeah, they all look pretty good. Uh, the little girl here has the articula articulated legs, just like the Xingyuan short legs that we saw a while ago. Seriously, Lego is still not using these legs. Why, 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 why? And if you look at the back of the leg, you can see it's got the uh, stud holes and the half a stud hole there for, so she can sit down on studs without any problem. All of them have a single piece of accessory. Um, you got the big hypnotizing lollipop, obviously, to get the girl to follow this bear to a magical room somewhere hmm. a gun to shoot the bear and a trophy from for the footballer to give to the hero <laughs> uh, yeah this trophy is actually pretty good it's uh, definitely um, some sort of world cup, world cup trophy and I, I just think the mold is really nice it's pretty good um, Oh, that's not good though. Yes, uh, might as well talk about that now. Uh, yeah, some of these figures, their uh, their hand or arms aren't uh, particularly tight in the body, and have a tendency of popping out. That was not the case with the Three Kingdoms stuff. So I don't know what's going on here. You might see arms popping off a few more times, but before the end of this video, uh, there is a hole on the bottom of this, so you can attach it to other pieces if needed. The uh, this is a golden plastic mold. And uh, this is two pieces, just like a regular Lego piece. And uh, the prints on all these are pretty decent. Uh, the logo there is actually pretty sharp. And yeah, all of them have pretty sharp printing. Um, the Especially this one, this Toy Soldier, has a lot of details going on. And does look very good. I, I, I don't care for the design too much, but for what it's representing, it uh, really reminds me of children's storybooks uh, from quite a few years ago. Also note that the legs here, the hip piece, uh, the curve there, unlike Lego, the legs are right up to the edge of this hip piece, whereas here you can see there's quite a bit of a big gap there. So, so I guess if you were to custom these, you wouldn't fear the decals scratching off the legs, that's something. Yes, print on the side on these guys, uh, and Lighten's not really done that that many times, so it's cool that they're doing it now. None of these have back faces whatsoever. Teddy Bear actually has quite a bit of, of uh, side print there. It's actually pretty nice uh, back print on him. Again, no back faces. Little girl has oh, no back print. And um, while well, a lot of these pieces molds are obviously copied from Lego, uh, Enlighten is a type of brand that um, copies things just enough without actually going into copyright stuff because. Yeah, the shapes, a lot of these shapes are the same, but they're not actually copying any actual characters or printed designs. Even colors. Um, Lego doesn't have this kind of pink. It's just, Lego pink is more like this. But this, this is like a new kind of pink uh, that you will not see with official Lego figures. So yeah, these four figures are pretty cool. So those, those were the pappy half of this set. This is the darker half. We have a heavily geared SWAT team guy, which... Uh, Let's face it, SWAT team and army stuff isn't that special anymore because every bootleg brand is bootlegging or copying or doing some kind of army pack. So we we, uh, we don't really have new guns or anything. I mean, this gun is not the most common one you see in those packs, but I've, I'm pretty sure I've seen this before. So, oops. Uh, we've already seen stuff like that. And, you know, we have the tactical gear, body armor. Um, here's the back. It's a SWAT. We've, we've probably had this before. Um... So I'm just going to remove all of that while you look at these other figures. And uh, yeah, uh, Cyborg guy here, he also has a gun. Uh, the body army on this is mm, not too tight, but, look, but very snug. There he is, uh, SWAT team guy. He has the usual uniform. He's got late printing. So he's done well. It's just I'm sick and tired of seeing these all the time. It's nothing special. No back prints, so that's not well. Uh, so if you want to pop a SWAT team guy, just get those SWAT packs. Most of them have like back printings. If you're not sure which one, just check out my videos. And here we have, uh, I think this is MP5. I've got a handlebar on the top there. Got the crazy cyborg robot man with a robot arm. Uh, this mold, this arm mold, looks quite different to official LEGO stuff. So I'm not sure they have this exact one. He looks like the claw from uh, Inspector Gadget. And uh, no, no back prints. Again, different colors here. This blue is very different from official Lego blue. We have the Chinese Jiangxi here, uh, the Guangxi or the Chinese vampire. 
And um, he's holding a classic sort of, I guess it's supposed to be a traditional sort of Chinese lantern. You know, like a little paper lantern, they put fire in there. So, unfortunately, uh, none of these, this Jiang Shi doesn't have proper legs. His uh, hands are also, suff his arms are suffering the most from that uh, uh, joint problem. You can see, it doesn't quite fit in this flat. The face looks okay, it's definitely a vampire face, so that's fine. And, um... No back prints whatsoever. So there, there he is, just standing there. Now, the hat is nice. This is very traditional sort of a Chinese hat from, uh, I can't remember what century, but um, when there were still kings and stuff, uh, the, 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 the governors and all the government officials wore hats like this, or people in, I guess, uh, higher up, um, upper class and stuff. And the Chinese people didn't believe in cutting their hair because hair was like a gift from their parents or something and cutting it was disrespectful. So so richer people would have long hair too. So that's fine. Now, do you see this yellow thing at the top of the head there? That's actually a magical spell uh, written by a vampire hunter. You see, Chinese vampires can't really, in traditional sense, they can't really be killed. They can only be stopped. So what you do is you put you write a magic spell on this special yellow paper that's supposed to be related to you know summoning spirits and dead and all that, and you stick it on top of the forehead, um, with, and, and it freezes them. So this is a permanently frozen uh, vampire. If you want the vampire to be in active mode, I guess you will have to cut that piece off the hat, and you know, send it down so it looks smooth and stuff. And um, yeah, so that that's sort of a problem. I uh, really wish it would have been like a little peg so you can peg the. Uh, you know the yellow piece of paper on there, but no, uh, it's 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 molded as a single piece. So that that's a, uh, I mean the figure looks nice for me. It looks just like a Chinese vampire. Looks fine, and I'm pretty sure that this design is copied from somewhere because I, uh, you know, people in Hong Kong and, and China and stuff they've been customizing uh, Chinese Jiangxi for a while now, so they know that. Looked at that and said, hey, let's just do that. And there's another bootleg company that's done a batch of these, which I'll compare them in that video. So, <clears> hmm, <throat> I guess they, they really should have, could have copied it without the yellow piece. Finally, we have the, uh, just the sort of jail prisoner. He has a big metal ball chained to his foot. Just, uh, pop his leg up and then you can slip it on there. And, uh, you know, even though we have a lot of, like, prisoners and crooks from the Lego City and police line, uh, this one looks different to them. Uh, design's different, hair's different, a little bit different. It's all based on the same idea, like the sort of straight cut top head. Hair, hair, top hair, uh, straight cut hair, but um, it, it, the mold is different, uh, the face design is a bit different, and the shirt design is a bit different. So, looks pretty good, uh, nothing special, but works, I guess. I guess he can go against the SWAT team guy. So, there we go. Uh, I'm going to say good effort for uh, Enlightened Infinite actually doing something uh, relatively new, uh, at least new designs and new figures for people who want to collect some unique minifigures, so that's, that's great. Um, however, there's you know, quality issues here. The print on all of these are great. The color on all of these are fine. But you see, you saw with uh, the arm falling off, that doesn't just happen with uh, this guy. It also happens quite easily with the SWAT team guy. You see, that's how easy it falls off. Um, and um, the good side with this plastic as well as the uh, all these a lot of the items are very uniquely shaped. Another downside is, uh, do do see that? Yeah, the hip piece isn't exactly the tightest thing in the world, and I do fear that these will break a lot quicker than Lego figures. You don't see this with Lego figures, well, not yet. Anyway, thank God, the quality is going down steadily, but uh, not that yet. So, that's an issue. Uh, the good side about this is that it's super cheap. Uh, not as cheap as other bootlegs, you see the price at the start of the video. So, price per figure is a little bit higher, but... Um, it, that's okay, it's still cheap overall compared to, say, Lego, and it's just... Uh, Cost a little bit more than bootleg stuff because, in a way, it is a legitimate release. So, yeah, all these figures have that thing going on. Oh well. So, if you like the designs here, you like what you see here, I definitely do recommend picking them up. Uh, obviously, you have to pick up the full set. That's the way you're gonna go because you're not, unless you're in Asia and you see these in the shops, then you can pick up a random box. If you do pick up random boxes or you see a crate of them. Uh, in a shop in Asia, make sure that you buy the full crate because a uh, uh, full sealed crate ensures a full set. If you don't, 
does it open crate or something then they might have swap boxes and stuff and you won't get a full set or get them online if you're in Asia you can do that easily if you're overseas I don't know Aliexpress or something try those and um, yeah not bad but um, I like the Free Kingdom ones a lot more because I like Free Kingdoms this one's a bit eh. Uh, I, I guess I'm gonna say I'm not really gonna keep these because um, I'm not too bothered about these characters too much but if you like what you see here, then you, you definitely want to keep them. They're not, they're not bad. I'm just, I'm just personally not that interested in these characters myself. If you've enjoyed this video or found it useful, please consider clicking the like button, subscribe button, as well as leaving a comment below on how you feel about these figures. And as always, you can check out my other videos, hopefully with adblock turned off. I would appreciate that so much. And you can support this channel by heading over to Patreon if you like. I have an animation channel, but... Um, I don't have much time to do stuff like that, but I do try to do animation when I can. And um, yeah, subscribe, suggest, and comment below. And of course, take care and have a nice day. Bye bye now.